this year. And there's the lineup for the second of the men's four by one heats. Yes, just one man out so far in that high jump final. Joshua Connolly failing at the opening height. So a disappointing final for him, but we still have uh, 12 men remaining. It's a 13 man final. So here are the poles in this uh, second heat. Jakob Galanciej goes up on one. Alec Hampel will bring the baton home, or at least they hope he'll bring the baton home. New Zealand. Jordan Boland, Hamish Gill, Jacob Matson, Ethan Holman, hoping to atone for the disappointment of the women who appear to have done so well. Felipe Dos Santos on the outgoing leg for the Brazilians, the Olympic hosts. Dennis Almas of Germany, on to Thomas Bartel, Niels Gieser, and Manuel Eitel. And on the outside, and I guess predictably the favourites for this second heat, the Jamaicans, Fabian Hewitt, on leadoff. The first two guaranteed a spot in the final. These championships have already seen two world records. That has been an outstanding championships. That men shot world record on the opening night from uh, a pole rather suitably. And then uh, Nicholas Cowell in the men's multi-event, the Decathlon. So Great Britain and Italy already safely through from the first heat. Chinese Taipei at the moment, the best of the fast losers, along with Botswana. Poland in four, Spain five, New Zealand six, Brazil seven, Germany eight, Jamaica nine. Let's keep an eye out here on the first baton change. Jamaica flying on the outside. All the New Zealanders, well, they've got a hold of the baton, have the Kiwis, but they've lost a couple of meters. Tremendous leg here from Brazil. Brazil leading at the moment. The Jamaicans have got a huge amount of work to do on the outside. Cornwall on the final leg's going to have to really fly here. Or hope that the Germans make a mistake, which they did. But it's away and clear the Brazilians. And look here at Cornwall. Can he peg back the German Eitel? Eitel, sprinting for all his worth, takes it. Jamaica come through in third. And you know what? There is a chance that J the Jamaicans will be eliminated. Well, the fastest losing time so far, 40.33. That was from Chinese Taipei in the first heat. Of course, we still have a heat to go, but uh, third place is not safe. Good, uh, good hold from the Germans under pressure. Well, the Germans timed at 39.69, so there is a chance actually that Jamaica have ducked inside 40 seconds, but far from impressive by the world's leading sprint nation. You really do expect more from them. And that baton change was fairly clunky. 39.80, the Jamaicans, so they are now the fastest losers. 39.90, 39.80, with the poles coming through in 39.98. So, in fact, those are the two fast losers at the moment. So, unless the first four, and the Germans nearly made a shocking mess of that, didn't they? Just staying inside the exchange zone. Oh, so great. unless the first four athletes run faster than, or first four teams run faster than 39.80 in this third heat, then the Jamaicans are through, along with the Poles. Um, Brazil, their first run out this year in uh, international competition, so they'll be delighted with that. Three good exchanges and a good strong finish as well. And again, we've seen one or two decent sprinters from Brazil at these championships, but not to the extent that you'd expect them to win a relay. It goes to show that good coaching, good teamwork, 
a team ethic there which means they come out here during this week and they practice their baton exchanges can earn you a gold medal and there are the times the first three teams inside 40 seconds went back look at that brazil have been disqualified